Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome back to another Dokkan Battle video. And today, we are going to be running the latest virtual Dokkan Ultimate Clash on Global. But this time, with an all new set of enemies. And honestly, the timing could not be more perfect. Because I was getting really tired of kicking Jiren's ass over and over and over again. So this time we have the Golden Frieza as the final boss. Not really sure what to expect from him, but uh, I think we'll be okay. Now before we get into it, I do want to give a quick shout out to the sponsor of today's video, Madara Accounts. They offer stacked global and JP accounts with thousands of stones and many top tier units for extremely reasonable prices. So if that sounds like something that you'd be interested in, then feel free to check out their website in my description down below. And if you find something you like, you can use my discount code TIGER for 20% off your entire purchase. Okay, so with all that said, let's jump in to this Ultimate Clash. And I think I'm gonna just keep the same units I always use. And here we go. Okay, so the first boss is going to be the Mercenary Tau. It says here, reduces damage received and grants immunity to being stunned. But otherwise, I think... Um, he's probably going to be pretty easy. He is the first enemy, and we're just going to go with a extreme STR team here. So let's do Janemba. We'll do... Uh, who's my second best STR lead? I think it's this guy. Uh, yeah, it is. Okay, so there we go. And maybe I'll do Rose instead, or Macho Matita. Doesn't really matter. Okay, jumping in. First stage, let's get it. Um, I think overall... The difficulty level is probably going to be very similar to the other bosses. So you can kind of think of this as just like a different skin over the previous, you know, Ultimate Clash. But it's still nice to get new enemies. It's still nice to like get a fresh coat of paint, if you will, and uh, just change things up a little bit, you know, because like I find that this mode is starting to get a little bit stale for me. You know, like it was really fun in the beginning. It was really exciting when like we got a brand new mode. But after you run it with the same enemies, like... How many times is it now? 20 times? I don't actually know which uh, virtual ultimate clash this is. It must be like 15 to 20, right? On global. Uh, oh, he's dead. There we go. So first enemy out of the way. And I believe we're moving on to the boss now for stage one. Yes, it is. And the enemy is uh, Boda Magetta. Disables attack and defense reduction. They nullify super attack ceiling effects. Can't be stunned. Um, they can't be sealed, and they also uh, reduce damage received. Okay, good to know. So they are super STR, so I'm going to go with uh, my AGL team. And, oh, actually no, let's not do super AGL, let's do extreme AGL. Yeah, I'm basically going to do the same strategy that I've always used, which is just, you know, mono teams. We'll start with the extreme teams first, and then move on to my super teams, because typically, you know, my super teams are much better than my extreme teams, right? So let's go with uh, 17, uh, sub lead. We can just go with Zamasu. And let's do Rose and Baby. Maybe Majima Jita. I really like his new revamped super attack animation. So for that reason alone, we're going to go with him. All right. So we are about 3 minutes and 41 seconds. I'm not really trying to set like a record by any means, but I still want to have a respectable time as we go through this. If you guys want to race me, go ahead, but you're probably <laughs> gonna beat me, I'm gonna be honest, because uh, like I said, man, I'm gonna be talking a little bit, you know, as we go along. If I was like seriously trying to go for a record, I probably wouldn't be talking as much. Okay, so we're getting super, that normal actually did more damage to us than I thought it would. Look at that, 37k. For the second enemy in the event, um, he actually hits kind of hard. I mean, I'm not, I'm not like worried we're gonna die or anything like that. It's just, he surprised me a little bit. He surprised me a little bit. <clears throat> okay, there we go, he's dead. Yeah, like I was definitely expecting him to hit us for like double digits. So the fact that we took like a couple thousand from a normal attack and then 37K from a crit. I mean, to be fair, Rose is not that tanky until he takes like four attacks or something like that. So I guess I shouldn't be that surprised. All right, so that's level one. Like I said, man, I do feel like it's around the same difficulty level, maybe a little bit harder, maybe like slightly harder than the previous enemies, like the Nappa and Timmy King Piccolo and you know, whatever. But 
if you guys were able to fully clear the previous enemies, then uh, <clears throat> I think it should be okay here. Yo, what's going on with my voice, man? My throat is like super, super um, sore right now. Yo. Okay, I'm not gonna say anything. I'm not gonna say anything. I'm not gonna try to freak myself out. Um, we're just gonna continue. I know what you guys are thinking. I don't think that's what it is. I, I, I don't think that's what it is. I've been very safe, guys. You know, like, I've pretty much just stayed home for the past, like, eight months or whatever it was. So, I think we're good. I'm gonna just chill out, drink my water, uh, maybe have some lemon water and some uh, alls after this video, and we'll be good. Okay, nothing, nothing to worry about, guys. Hey, don't freak out. I'm not freaking out. You, you better not freak out. <laughs> okay, so <clears throat> um, we're probably gonna kill him this rotation, actually. Yeah, he's probably dead this rotation. Uh, Kid Boo, man, he actually hits pretty decently hard, right? I mean, he's always been like a damage dealer, but uh, his easy is about to come. He's gonna be even more of a monster, and I'm I'm pretty excited. Obviously, I still want an LR Kid Boo sooner than later, but for now, if we, you know, can't get that, then at least we have like a solid Kid Boo to use, right? I mean, there there's the Fizz Kid Boo, but he's a support. It's not quite the same. Int Kid Boo, easy A, coming in about a week on Global. Okay, so Oob is Int here, so I'm gonna go with Extreme Fizz. And let's do Cooler, Vocal Black. And then, speaking of Kid Boo, let's do Kid Boo again. Boo Tanks, and Brick God Mo. We have to. He, he has a auto-include on every team. Hmm. Let's do Double Brolies. And, uh, yeah, that's fine, okay. I mean, as you can see, Boo Tanks is not really linking too well, but the good thing is we don't have to give that much key to Broly to get him to super. So we can give all those phase key spheres to the boot tanks. <clears throat> yeah, I think um, honestly, it's just like I haven't been drinking enough water recently, and I've also been like streaming a lot. So it's probably because like I've been talking too much, you know, over the past like 36 to 48 hours, and that is the only reason why my throat is sore. That's it. No other reason. No other reason. All right, there we go, he's dead. So that is four enemies out of the way. I think overall there are 10, right? I think overall there are 10. All right, so what's the boss for this one? It is Lord Slug. Okay, so Extreme AGL Lord Slug reduces damage received, grants immunity to being stunned, nullifies super attack ceiling effects, disables attack and defense reduction, and recovers HP, I hate that. I hate these enemies that recover HP, man. It's so annoying. So I'm gonna go tech and extreme. Oh crap. It's my worst type. Um I mean, it's a little bit better now since uh Broly has his easy A, so yeah, let's go Broly, let's go uh Frieza, Broly again. Let's use hit, just because like I never use him. Like hit never gets any run for me, so any opportunity I have to actually use him, I'll probably take it. Yeah, we'll do hit and Frieza together. He is going to be healing at the end there. Hold on, Broly gets key when he supers, right? If I remember correctly, I could be wrong. Uh, I, I think he gets key when he supers. We'll find out, we'll find out. Since he doesn't have a super right now, but if he gets key, then, you know, he'll just automatically super. Additional from hit, and Broly... Oh, he doesn't. Wait, what, is it? what was I thinking of then? Uh, anyways, um, no super for Broly. That's unfortunate because obviously he would have hit really hard for us. Uh, let's put let's put the Tech Broly, Super Saiyan three Tech Broly here. Um, obviously, you know he's losing some defense. He's down to seventy one thousand now, but I don't think the Lord Slug actually hits hard enough to you know hurt us that much. Yeah, there we go. Eighty six ninety two. There we're good. Two point three million attack. If only they made him not lose defense on Superman, he would be so good. Like, he would be such a good unit, and people would like hate on him so, like a lot less, right? If he just didn't lose defense, kept everything else the same, 
don't make him lose defense on a super, and he would get so much more love than he currently gets, right? Because a lot of people right now just like clown him as like the worst, you know, 120 easy A and. I mean, I think that's justified, because he, I think he is. I mean, he's just not on the same level as the other 120 easy A's, especially Gogeta, and uh, especially, you know, Super 17. Like, those guys are just so good. And it's a shame that they actually made Broly the worst one, because there's only one Super Saiyan 3 Broly in the game, and I don't really see us getting another one anytime soon. And, you know, his easy A ended up being the worst one, so. It just sucks. It kind of sucks. All right, that's Lord Slug. It took a little bit longer than I would have wanted, just because I think um, you know my linking wasn't too good. The uh, the key links especially were not the best. All right, now we have the uh, Cooler movie Vegeta. We have Super Saiyan 3 Goku, Metal Cooler, and Harutagarn. Okay, so. Let's just go in order, we'll go clockwise. Let's start with Vegeta first. This is where we pull out the big guns here. We're gonna go with our super teams. Let's do, um, let's do Super Saiyan 3 Gotenks, and then we'll do Gohan, and then Blue Boys, Gogeta, Vegito. Um, should we bring, should we bring Super Saiyan 2 Angel Vegeta? So we don't have the Majin Buu Saga Goku, but even without that, he's still really solid, so. I think it'll be fine. Let's bring him, and then I'ma bring Tien, actually. Tien's just freaking amazing. Like, he is probably my favorite non dokkan Fest unit in the game, honestly. He just, like, his poor support unit, he's getting, like, over two, almost three million attack stats sometimes as a support unit. Like, that's, that's crazy. Okay, uh, let's put him there. That's gonna be, I think, a 24 key. Oh, we're close enough. And, oh, you know what? I probably should have given that to the Blue Boys. Yeah, because with the additionals, they would have hit harder. It's okay, though. Not a huge difference. Wow, we took 40k there. This Frieza actually hits pretty hard. I mean, like, you know, it's not, it's not damage damage, but Gogeta's very tanky, so I'm surprised that with his defense, we still took 40k from that super. Wait, he, does he super every attack? Huh. Yeah, because we, we took two attacks and they were both supers, I believe. Maybe I missed a normal attack or something like that, but it seemed like both attacks were supers. Anyways, let's see if we get supered again. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, e every single attack from Vegeta is a super. All right, all right. That's 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 fine though. We should be able to finish him off this turn if we get. Okay, I was gonna say if we get one additional super from Vegito, that would have been guaranteed, but we didn't. We didn't get a crit either, so he's still gonna be alive for one turn. Uh, we're gonna take another super, I guess. But the most he'll take is like 50k or something like that. 65, close enough. And this should do it. Uh, let's give, hmm, let's give the super to Super Saiyan to Angel Vegeta. Unfortunately, we don't get a partner or unit super attack because once again, we don't have the Majin Buu Saga Goku. <clears throat> but yeah, that's still that's still good damage. That's that's still good damage. I just don't like the super attack animation as much. Obviously, the one with Super Saiyan 3 Goku is much better, but. Uh, you know, it got the job done. It got the job done. <clears throat> okay, so that's Vegeta out of the way. That actually took a little bit longer than I expected. And now we have Goku here, who is AGL. So I'm gonna go with Super AGL, or uh, Super Tech rather. And let's do Tien. Um, actually, let's do this guy, this guy, this guy. Oh, hold on, no, we're gonna do Tien for the second, second lead. And then let's do yeah, Super Saiyan 3 Goku. Uh, Vegito. Let's do another Vegito Blue, and I guess this Vegeta. That's good. That's good. I don't know why I'm thinking so much about these, right? Because like I, I know basically whatever team we bring will be fine. Yeah, there we go. That's a 18 key super. Uh, I'm actually going to put this guy here. 
so we can get an 18 key super for the Go Bros as well. 24 key super, actually. Oh. Oh, he does the whole countdown thing, so basically he's gonna one-shot us. He's gonna one-shot us once the countdown is over. I did not know that was a thing. Did not know that was a thing. I'm a little bit worried now. Not gonna lie, man, I... Are we gonna hit hard enough? Like, that's my question. Like, are we gonna do enough damage before we get one shot? I mean, I'm assuming that's what it is, because that's usually what, you know, it means when units have that countdown thing. We should be okay, right? Should be okay. Give me one second. Um, I'm gonna give these to Gohan, and that's gonna be an 18 key super for Goku as well. And then we can give a decent amount of orbs to Tien too. Uh, 4.5. There we go. You know what? With this Gohan on the team, I don't think I needed to be concerned. I don't think I needed to worry about that at all, because, yeah. <laughs> Look at that, man. Yeah, we're good. We're, we're okay. We're okay. Wait, was that was that a 7 mil crit and, and then followed by an 8 mil crit? And he's dead. Alright, yo. This Goku has a lot of HP, though. He has a lot of HP, though. We did back-to-back -back supers that, like, totaled 12 million damage or something like that before Super Saiyan 3 Goku attack, right? And he... That, that was only, like, half his HP or something like that. So, this guy must have, like, 20 to 30 million HP. At least, right? Don't, don't, don't quote me on that. My math might be off, but... I don't know, he, he, he seemed like he had a lot of HP. Okay, so Cooler, Extreme SDR, we're gonna go with Super AGL, obviously. Um, let's do the Super Saiyan 4s, let's do Spirit Bomb Absorb Goku, Gohan, uh, Gogeta, the God, Skinny Boo, and... Uh, mm, let's do Vegito. There we go. Yeah, wow, I didn't think Goku would have that much HP, but the good thing is he's not that tanky. Right, so we just did a stupid amount of damage to him with those uh, Gohan and Goku attacks. Okay, so he's supering us immediately. Is, is he like, is he like Vegeta, where he like supers us all the time, like multiple times a turn? I wouldn't be surprised, but considering how many attacks there are, he's definitely not gonna super us like every time. Just like, yeah, that was a normal, but um, you know, he could still super us like twice in a turn. Which would still be kind of annoying, because he actually did some pretty decent damage to my Gohan. Granted, he, had, he didn't have a chance to actually like, stack any defense yet. So, all things considered, it wasn't that bad. Okay, so he's healing. 1.3 mil. I mean, as long as he stays there, as long as he only heals for 1.3 mil every turn, we can easily out-damage him. <laughs> Yo, look at Skinny Boo going off. Three dodges in a row. Three dodges in a row. All right. Um, that's going to be a full 24k super. And that is a lot for Vegeta. But I don't think we'll even get to him. I think Goku is actually going to finish off Cooler by himself right now. A 3.8 mil. I was expecting a little bit more attack. But as long as we get that crit, it should be game over. Oh, yeah. All right. Gumku. Coming through. Okay, so just one more enemy before Frieza now. So far, it's been kind of smooth sailing. Um, we got Harutagarn. Does he evade? Oh, he evades. Oh, no. As much as I hate units that heal, I hate units that evade attacks, that dodge attacks way more. Like, it's not even on the same level of like how much I hate units like Harutagarn. All right, um, so what is he, tech? Yeah, tech, so let's go int, super. Man, I wish this guy had his easy A. I wish he had his easy A, but for now, I'm gonna leave him out. And let's go Gohan, Godku, Vegito, and uh, maybe we need a tank. I don't, hmm, I don't think we will. Nah, screw it, okay, let's go Gogeta. Yeah, let's do Let's do Gogeta and uh, Bados to finish out the team. <clears throat> 
you know what? My, my throat is feeling better already. Okay, it, it's feeling better already. Not, nothing to be concerned about, guys. Okay, I don't want to hear anybody in the comments, you know, freaking out for me or, or saying any kind of crazy stuff. Because, um, you know, there is just nothing to, to be concerned about. Let's just focus on the run. Let's focus on... Maybe, maybe I should just stop talking. Like, I'm drawing attention to it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm drawing attention to it. I I'm, I'm gonna stop talking. Bro, is he... It's gonna be one of those runs, huh? It's it, it's gonna be one of those runs. Okay. I got it. I got it. Um... Yeah. Like, how, how many... Does he have a higher chance to dodge supers, maybe, than normals? Yo, taste of his own medicine. Yo, let's give him a taste of his own medicine. Yo, dodge, dodge. Come on, man. <laughs> Don't dodge the normals and then get hit by the super. <sighs> You're doing it wrong, man. Doing it wrong. All right, we landed one super. It's crazy how much of a boost Gogeta gets when he gets his EZA, because... I mean, obviously we're, we're under 120 leads, so his attack stat is a little bit lower, but... Even in this situation, I think Easy A Gogeta would probably get like 2.5 to 3 million attacks that. And of course, with attacks effective against all. Just insane. Alright, um, you know what? Let's do, let's do Vegito there, because I'm, I'm not, I don't trust Gohan's defense. I'll give, <clears throat> let's give these to Vegeta. And we'll give these to Gohan. Okay, so if two out of these three supers land, he's definitely dead. He's dead dead. If one super lands, he still might be dead. Okay, that's one. Just create, just finish it, man. I don't want to deal with this guy anymore. Damn. Don't want to deal with this guy anymore. <laughs> okay. Gohan. Ugh. Fine. Fine, we'll play one more turn. I'll play with you for one more turn. Um, okay, 18k super. And, yo, God Koo. Give him a taste of his own medicine. Dodge the attacks. Dodge one attack. There we go. And, land. Thank you. Okay, it's over. It's over, there we go. Oh, you know what? That wasn't as bad as uh, the Dokkan event. You know, the Hurigar Dokkan event is like, it's like the Tapion Dokkan event is just like the worst thing ever. It's like the worst event, event in the game. Um, this wasn't as bad as that. It wasn't as bad. Still very annoying though. Okay, we're on the final boss. Golden Frieza instead of Jiren. Jiren, you will honestly not be missed. <laughs> I will not miss Jiren's ass for now. But uh, let's see what he does. Reduces damage received, grants immunity to being stunned, nullifies super attack ceiling effects, disables attack and defense reduction, guaranteed to seal super attacks. Guaranteed to seal super attacks. Reduces damage received from extreme class. Um, wait, so he seals you every single time? Like every single time he attacks you, he seals you? Okay, so if you guys have this Bardock, make sure to use him okay this is where he really shines like i believe he gets his full passive or at least like most of it like at least 75 percent of it against this frieza so yeah make sure to run him we're gonna go with the super saiyan fours once again i'm gonna go gogeta ui and yeah bardock and kine let's do super vegito and i guess i'll end with super saiyan 3 vegeta just in case we need a tank just in case we need that tank i um, not really sure how hard he's going to hit, but, you know, given Jiren, uh, my experience with Jiren, we know that the final boss usually does a lot of damage. Okay, um... Oh, so he doesn't seal everybody. He doesn't seal everybody. He just seals one guy each time. Uh, okay, well... We should be okay. So I'm going to super with Super Saiyan 4. And then we can give a super to Super Saiyan 3 Vegeta. And I'm going to save my resources, I guess. And just give one orb to Gogeta since he's not going to be supering anyways. 
114k. How much HP do we have? Hopefully a lot, because that was not a good way to start the run. Okay, we have about 400k, so we're about 75% down, or we're at about 75% right now. Um, give me some dodges, please, Otita. If you can't, if you can't super, at the very least, yeah, there we go. That's one. Oof. Okay. Yeah, not terrible. Not terrible. Um, of course, of course, he decides to <laughs> seal Bardock and Gine. I was just talking about how good they were on this event, and and that's the one that he seals. Cool. All right. Thank you. Appreciate it. Appreciate it. Thank you, Frieza. Um, yeah, ruining my video. That, that's great. Uh, does he super every turn? I feel like he might super every turn. Good thing is, Ua Goku actually did what he's supposed to do. He did his thing. He, he, he got the dodge off. Another one. Nice. And I don't think he can super us multiple times in a turn, right? So you, uh, Super Saiyan 4 Goku is safe. I mean, relatively speaking, he still took a lot of damage, but a super would have been much, much worse. Okay, so Super Saiyan 3 is sealed this time. Um, let me first give these to Vegito, and then let me see if I can get a 24 key super. We can get a 24 key super, so yeah. With the 24 key super, I'm not worried about Super Saiyan 4 Vegeta's defense. It's just if he hadn't been able to get that 24 key, or uh, rather 18 key, um, I would have probably put him at the end. Oh my god. STR Vegito took 82k too? Man. I mean, it feels like he hits pretty much as hard as Jiren. Um, on the bright side, it also feels like he's kind of squishy. At least, at least I don't know, like compared to Jiren, he, it seems like he takes more damage. Maybe I forgot, maybe I forgot what Jiren actually looks like or like, you know, what his effects are because it's been about a month since the last one, even though I fought him like 10 times, but yeah, I feel like Jiren was more tanky, but I could be wrong. Uh, ooh, okay, so, you know what, I really don't want to risk it, so I'm going to still put UI there for the dodges. And then Gogeta is definitely going to finish things off. Yeah, I don't, I don't know how much damage Gogeta would have taken, right, from a super. So I think this is definitely safe. Even though UI is is sealed. Oh, please dodge this! Come on, man. He didn't. Ooh. You know, you know, like we were, we 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 were having a pretty good run, and we're still going to kill him right here. He's still dead for sure, but, you know, this Frieza's kind of tough. This Frieza's kind of tough. Between Jiren and Frieza, I think Frieza... Mm, I'm not sure, actually. I'm not sure. I mean, this run would have been so much easier if uh, my Bardock and Gine didn't get sealed. So, we'll never know how, how efficient that could have been, but... Um, yeah, we came pretty close to dying, right? But that's kind of the same thing with Jiren, too. Like, Jiren usually, you know, like, every once in a while, will kick my ass, right? Like, I'll still kill him. I'll still beat him. But, like, he'll get me pretty close to death. So, it kind of feels like they're even. Yeah, to me, it kind of feels like Jiren and Golden Frieza are pretty even in terms of difficulty level. But there you go, guys. Brand new enemies. Golden Frieza cleared in... I think about 30, 30 minutes or so. Uh, that's it guys, that is today's video. Thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it. As always, if you liked today's video, oh, actually let me know in the comments down below how long it took you to uh, beat this one. And if you found it to be difficult or easy or just kind of like moderate, whatever it was, let me know how it went. And uh, yeah guys, I'll be back with probably a stream in the near future doing my next two runs to get all the missions done, and uh, also a quick showcase, actually, of the Bobbity and Deborah, because I believe they are now available in the Battlefield shop. It should be around 300,000 memories, if I remember correctly. Uh, 330,000, there you go. So slightly more expensive than 
um, can cool the Mecha Frieza, but not very much. And uh, I do think that they're a better LR, so... I mean, I think they're worth it. If you guys have the memories, if you guys have the uh, currency, then make sure to pick them up. You know what? I'm gonna do it right now. There we go. Got our one copy. We'll get more as we get more battlefields. But uh, yeah, guys, that is... All I'm going to say for today, that is the video. Thank you so much for watching. As always, if you liked the video, then make sure to like the damn video. And if it's your first time watching me, first time to the channel, and you like what you see, then definitely hit that big red subscribe button to join the Tiger Squad now. And while you're at it, hit that notification bell too so that YouTube knows you want to stay up to date with all my latest content. And that's it. I'm out of here. Until next time, hope you guys have a fantastic, fantastic day. I'm Tiger with Tiger Uppercut Media, signing out.